What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And we're back with another specific training guide for the new Spanish League Epics, right? So we've already covered Morientes, and now we are going to take a look at that Villa and Samuel Eto'o. So I've seen a lot of people actually pack Villa already, and some have been talking about him that they're a bit disappointed with the card. Well, I'll show you a beastly build for him, and I don't know how you would be disappointed with this build of him. Yes, it's an issue that he is down as a prolific winger, and he does have a couple of stats that are a little bit iffy uh, based on his card. But, I mean, I think he's a beastly card, lads. I think he's more of kind of like, he's more than just a run and gun. He has everything about him if you know how to get space and create chances. And this is why we're going to show you two really good builds of him. And I'll also also show you a GP alternative, which is kind of hard for Dabavia, but it's probably the, the only one that really stacks up. So when we look at Davavia here, right, we're going to take a look at his max booster. He is getting the booster to shooting. I'll keep this video short and sweet. Ball control, finishing, kick and power, and physical contact. So we're not going to really focus too much on his physicality because he does have a couple of nice player skills that, you know, you do need to upgrade as well. So I would definitely 100% give him a uh, one-touch pass. Um... If you could do that, I would definitely give him one touch pass like 100% because I do think that that's probably the best stat that you could or the best player skill that you could give him. But when we're actually looking at training him up, bear in mind that the finishing is going to be at 87 straight off the rip, right? So the first build that we're going to look at here, as I said, is going to be for a one touch pass on him, but it's going to be a, a wing type player, right? So you can throw anything you want on for wing uh, players, such as pinpoint crossing, low loft the cross, uh, weighted pass, any of those, uh, low loft the pass, any of those, right? One touch pass is probably you know, not needed as much unless you are going to be playing him as an SS. But I definitely think as a winger, if you're going to be playing him on a left flank and cutting in, as he did for a large part of his career as well, cutting in kind of like that Thierry Henry style, um, I definitely think that this is a really nice build. But yeah, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be like blown away with this build, so to speak, right? You've got 90 finishing, you've got 96 offensive awareness, 90 ball control. Ball control and finishing are going to be going up to 92 with the boosters. And then, of course, your physical contact is going to be going to 70. And you're also going to be getting your acceleration there as well, which is pretty decent. You've got, you know, a pretty decent player that's got 90 finishing, 90 ball control, 90 uh, awareness, and 90 acceleration in or around that, right? His balance is a slight concern, but that is going to be a wing-based player. Now, I would say that one-touch pass, pinpoint cross, and any of those are a must on this version of him, um, but I think that this is the better version of him. So you can see here, right, that this both of these cards go to 100 overall. So there isn't much of a difference at playing them as a center forward. Their card won't reflect 100 overall, but when they are playing as a CF in that role, they will be 100 overall based on their stats for that position, Okay. So this build, we've just gone slightly more saucy with the dexterity and the shooting, and we have really kind of ignored everything else, right? So lower body is down. We've only got 82 speed with 82 stamina, but our balance is up, our acceleration is up, and of course, our finishing and offensive awareness are way up as well. So we've just kind of slightly tweaked it. It's not a massively different card. Like you're literally talking about a couple of changes to dexterity and lower body. You know, 85 speed and 80, 85 uh, stamina. You need that if you're playing out wide because it just saps energy more. But you can stick counter target on Dabavia and not really worry about his stamina. 80 plus is more than enough. And what you're doing is you're double down, doubling down on his offensive awareness of finishing and acceleration to really drive this card on as a center forward type build. Again, you do want one touch pass. Uh, he does a first time shot, so it does kind of face that a little bit better. Now, if you're looking for a GP alternative, Sun isn't a bad option to have. He's kind of down as a left winger as well, a prolific winger, but he plays better through the middle because of his uh, shooting stats, because of his, his, you know, fairly beastly dribbling without being overpowered dribbling. He's got good base stamina and acceleration there as well. He's not that expensive in the game. This price is wrong, but he is a fairly decent player to have if you are looking for something a little bit similar to David Villa without spinning for David Villa. So let me know what you guys think. Of course, always remember that you are going to be getting that boost to the kicking power, the finishing, the ball control, and the acceleration is going to be up to 90 with any of those builds that I showed you. So let me know if you're going to spin, if it's a skip or a spin, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.